Okay guys, no internet, check your network cable, modem and the router, reconnecting to Wi-Fi, running the Windows network diagnostic, DNS probe, finished, no internet. So if you are getting the error message like this, there is a couple of steps you can follow to fix the internet issue. So this happens when there is a no internet connection or maybe your server is down or maybe some problem with your Wi-Fi. So first thing you're going to check is, uh, you're going to see whether internet is connected here. You can see not connected. Connections are uh, not available. So even sometime connection will be available. It will show you it's connected and still you have this message. So the first thing, try to reload the page and see if you're getting the internet. If you're not getting the internet, so you have to try reloading when it shows connected. If it is saying not connected, at first you are going to check your Wi-Fi. Ok guys, you can see this is the router. Check your router if your router has some issue. Or whether the connection is there, power light is glow glowing on properly or not. Turn off your connection. If it is turned on, turn off your connection and turn it back again. So turn off the connection for 5 to 10 minutes or let's say 15 minutes and again you can turn on back. You are going to check after turning it on. All the lights in the router is glowing fine. Your internet line should not be blinking. Your WLAN should be blinking. WLAN it blinks or do not blink. It's not a problem. WLAN always blinks. And sometimes you'll find it is steady. Other line should be steady. Even your it's a power icon, link icon, and auth icon. So all the uh, lines should be steady. Even your internet line should be steady and your WLAN it uh, keeps on blinking. That means your connection is fine. If your internet line is blinking, that means you have to contact your internet service provider or wait for a day or an hour, uh, maybe some issue from uh, op itself. Sometime issue with your router cable. So this is internet line, inter internet line cable, you just remove it and plug it back again properly. Maybe some issue with the cable. So do it properly. If you do not know, just do not do it. You may uh, do some kinds of mistake and you again you have to call the technician. Now your internet should be working fine. Sometime it shows the connection, but you do not have access to internet. Uh, you won't be, uh, you will get the error message in your browser. Just give a right click on it and then click on troubleshoot problem. It can ask you whether it is an Ethernet to Wi-Fi, Ethernet or all network adapter. So if your Wi-Fi has an issue, choose Wi-Fi. If your all your network has an issue, choose all your network. Currently Wi-Fi has an issue, so you can choose any one of it and then click on next. So currently no issue, the first method worked for me and my problem is fixed. If the first method do not work for you, you can proceed to the next method. Click on view detail information. It will show you all the details what exactly is the issue. If the issue is DNS, if it says you a DNS server is not responding. So you can contact your internet service provider, what is the, give a one phone call and they will tell you if their DNS server is working fine, if they have to fix, they will fix. In case problem with the DNS. So this was the second method that you can follow. I hope the problem is fixed. The problem is if not fixed, you can run Windows Network Diagnostic. The same thing is so from here itself, uh, it will detect the problem. Whether you go from here or from the browser itself, it is the same thing. Now, the next thing, the final method that you can try in order to fix this issue. Okay guys, finally follow one more step. Uh, go to the search and type CMD. It's a command prompt, give a right click, run as administrator. Click on yes and this opens the command prompt. Now guys, you are going to see here are some of the text. I hope it is visible. It's uh, ipconfig slash release, ipconfig slash all, ipconfig slash floss dns, ipconfig slash renew, netsh int ip, sorry, uh, ip reset dns, netsh winsock reset, net int ip reset, reset log dot txt. So one by one, you are going to type the command and press enter key. So here it is. Whatever message you get, make sure you type all the commands properly. So one by one, just type all these commands. 
and then after restart your computer and see if it is working. Following all these steps, uh, I hope one other step will help you to fix your issue. So guys, if you like this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good day.